I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps. It was a beautiful house. It was a beautiful place to live. We'll rebuild, and I really think that we'll learn something great from this. Hey, large tornado on the ground. It was just devastating. Trees and roofs and houses and a lot of damage. The current got so hard, and I was holding on to her, and it just took her away from me. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as. People were stunned, people were crying, people were scared. I don't, I don't know how this could happen. A bridge in America just shouldn't fall down. I believe that they should, uh, our education over here. Nine brave, heroic, courageous, Firefighters of the city of Charleston have perished. A man just ran in. Uh, he shot our professor, and um, he. We all just got on the ground really quick, and he just continued to shoot. These people are not criminal. They're not terrorists. I'm sick of that. Of dehumanizing these people, criminalizing them. They come here to work. And the U.S. should help the U.S. or should help South Africa. What do we want? Justice! What do we want now? Send these children to school and not to jail. This is the beginning of the 21st century civil rights movement. I think it's tragic. It's shocking. I feel horrible for Anna Nicole. We had to experience racist and sexist remarks that are deplorable, despicable, and abominable. I am going to apologize to them and uh, ask them for their forgiveness. I don't expect that, and I don't think they have any obligation to either forgive me or to uh, accept my apology. It should help the Iraq and the Asian country. I am not gay. I never have been gay. I got a lot of downtime, a lot of time to think about my actions and what I've done and how to make Michael Vick a better person. It is with a great amount of shame that I stand before you and tell you that I have betrayed your trust. So we will be able to build up our future.